In Egypt, a group named IDAF Tribe decided to build a museum under the Red Sea, attracting more people dive there instead of on coral reefs. In order to better preserve the coral reefs, the group started by erecting three statues, including a donkey-shaped table and two chairs in the Red Sea Governorate in 2012. Then in 2015, they put three other statues, the pharaonic gods Horus and Bes, and an elephant statue. Last February, they successfully placed the seventh statue into the sea to honor an Egyptian diver who hit the world record of deepest dive. The goal is to keep the natural material and keep it on the natural environment. So, when I do my courses, I do it all for all of them. Because it's from the 12th and 14th and 20th and 30th meters, so it's suitable for all of the courses that are available. The IDEF tribe members decided to make their statue with environmentally friendly materials. For example, The elephant statue was made of recycled materials, including old bikes and shipping debris. It weighs about 800 kilograms and is as large as a real elephant. We are in the Tamasi that it will be suitable for the environment, not the environment, and at the same time that it will attract the birds and that it will also attract the birds and the birds. يعني مثلا السمك الصغير بيدور على شلتر او مخبأ من السمك الاكبر فبيحب ان هو يستخبى جوه مخابئ ليه عشان يبقى حمايه ليه. Red Sea is famous for its coral reefs. It attracts a lot of athletes and tourists across the world to practice scuba diving, believing that coral reefs all over the world will vanish in about 15 years on average. The group members is building the museum as their own contribution to coral reef protection.